Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a big luxury haul video. I feel like this could be the biggest haul I've done on my channel to date. I ticked a lot of items off my wish list. It is a collective haul though, so I didn't buy all of this in one trip. I have two items from Louisa Via Roma. They're both Gucci. I have one item from Hermes, which is my first ever Hermes purchase. I'm very excited about it. I have two items from Louis Vuitton and one item from Nest Porter. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get going. So first up I'm going to show you what I got from Louisa Via Roma. As I mentioned these are both Gucci items and the first one came in this little box here. This is actually an item I already own and I love mine so much that I decided to get a different colour. Open the box. I have already undone all the packaging. Sorry I couldn't wait to have a look. It came in its own little mini Gucci dust bag. And inside is a belt. So I basically got the exact same one that I currently have in the brown leather version. I thought about getting a thinner one, but to be honest, I just love the one I have so much and I've gotten so much use out of it, even more than I thought I would. And when I bought it, I was very intent on getting as much use out of it as possible because it is a very pricey belt. And I just want it so much and I'm still not sick of it. So I decided to go for the brown version. This is actually the first brown belt that I own. I don't own any other brown belt so I'm very happy to have this. It is different to the black version though so those of you who have the black version it's very very smooth whereas this is a bit more distressed which I really like so I am so excited to have this and wear this. I did get this in a smaller size than my black one so I went for the size 80 in this and I wear a size 26 in jeans if that's helpful to anyone. Um, my black one is in a size 85 and it does still fit but I have been kind of moving the notches on that one so I decided to size down in this one and it fits great. And yeah, I could not be happy yet with this purchase. So super, super excited about this. Hopefully I will get just as much wear out of it and I can't wait to start using it. And my next purchase comes in a slightly bigger box. So this one is a bag. It's quite a heavy box as well. Louisa Villaroma box is always very, very sturdy. And um, um, inside, so this one actually came with two dust bags. So there's the Gucci dust bag, but I guess Louise Viroma put on an extra dust bag to protect that dust bag and the bag. So there are two dust bags involved here. So to unveil the second one, this is the Gucci one. Put that one here. And inside is the, you'll probably be able to tell from that, it's the Gucci Dionysus. I am so, so excited about this bag. I know this has been out a while, but I actually only tried this on very recently. I don't know why I didn't try it before. I was just kind of hooked on the Marmot line, didn't really look too closely at this, and then I tried it on and just absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was so cute. I decided to go for the logo print with the black suede just peeping out here, which I think is beautiful. And the black suede also carries on through here. It's definitely not the lightest of bags, but it's comparable, I'd say, to the the Chanel Jumbo. There's not a big uh, difference in it. And you just open it by pressing right here. And then you have the big panel of black suede and then it carries through to the lid, the flap as well. That's what I meant. Um, it is fairly roomy as well, which is what I love about it. So you do have a decent amount of space and you have the zip compartment as well like so. I think this is so gorgeous. I am so, so excited. I've seen it styled a few different ways and I think it looks so cool and cute. So very, very excited to start wearing this. Let me know if you're interested in a first impressions or a comparison with the Marmot line. I know there are so many of those videos out already on YouTube, so maybe everyone's kind of already familiar with this bag, but I am super excited to have it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to start wearing it. Next up is a slightly lighter bag. So it is a basket bag that I got from Netta Porter. The brand is Caillou, if that's how you say it. And I've seen these a few different places, um, but I found this one on Netta Porter and I thought it was the cutest thing. So, ooh, if I can get it out. So it's a very simple kind of basket tote. And then it has just you, me, we on it, which I thought was adorable. And I just love the color combination. I feel like lots of basket bags come in very fun colors, but I love the fact that this was black and white. So you have the little black pom-poms and then the stripy handle. And then on the inside, it is just bare. And you have the little Caillou symbol right there. 
thought this was so cute. I'm planning on wearing this just with a summer dress, maybe some fun earrings, some sandals, and then just kind of toting this around. I did think about it for our honeymoon, which is hopefully upcoming. We haven't booked it yet. Um, but I also think this is just cute for in the city. You know, it's been such a good summer. So any time with sundresses, I just think this will be adorable. So very excited about this. I think it's the cutest basket bag I've ever seen. So super, super excited to wear this. Next up is my Hermes purchase and you'll be able to tell what they are just from the dust bags but they are a pair of shoes and this is definitely an Instagram made me do it purchase. I've been seeing these everywhere and I finally cracked and decided to get a pair. So they are the at this point very famous sandals. Oran, if that's how you say it, I've never actually heard the name said out loud, but it's spelled O-R-A-N. And I got these in the rouge blush color, I want to say. I believe, or at least this is what I was told, they're part of the new autumn winter collection. Um, it seems like quite a summery color to me, but apparently they are. And they are just basically a dark dusky pink, so really pretty. I got these from a store, but I had originally bought them online. So they are stocked online, so I will include the link down below. Um, but basically, they're sold out in a bunch of sizes. I managed to see one in stock in a size 30 and a half, a bit bigger than I would usually take, but I decided to try my luck and they were too big. So I had to return them, went into store to see if they had any and the lady was basically like, they're sold out everywhere. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find them, but she was nice enough to check on the system for me and they had one pair in my size left at Harrods. So I legged it over and I managed to get them, which I'm so, so happy about. I think they're absolutely stunning. So I got the size 38 and I do think that they fit fairly true to size. I'm between a size 37 and a half and 38 and I think I actually probably could have sized down to the 37 and a half but these fit fine too but I definitely wouldn't say that they fit super small or super big and they do seem pretty comfortable from what I can tell so I cannot wait to wear these I'm so excited about my first Hermes purchase and I think they're absolutely gorgeous Next up are my purchases from Louis Vuitton and the first one is kind of an SLG but it's also quite large to be an SLG so I'm not sure if it technically speaking falls within that category but it has its own little box and inside is the dust bag and then inside that and I've just realized I don't know the official name it has a very particular name I can't remember it off the top of my head but I will put it on screen um, but this is basically what well, reminds me of stacking dolls so you have two more pouches within this one this is in the epi leather and I think this is the first thing I've had from Louis Vuitton in the epi leather and then you unbutton it and then you basically get a, another one inside and then you get another one inside that so you get three pouches in total yeah, so these are all three. So you get a larger pale pink one, you get this beautiful mid-sized one in a deep raspberry, and then you get this adorable mini one in a cherry red. These are so lightweight as well, and I think you can use them for a whole bunch of things. So I think this one should be big enough to fit an iPad mini. This one I think is good for a whole ton of things. So, you know, receipts, rewards cards, you can use it as a little wallet if you wanted to. And this I think would be adorable for maybe some headphones or spare chains. I just thought these were so so cute they were out of stock for so long so I'm so excited I was finally managed to get them and hopefully they will be just as functional as they are beautiful and then finally for my very last purchase it is another bag one and this is another repeat purchase I'm afraid but when I know I like something I do tend to get some other versions of it so inside I just have the receipt and everything and then these boxes are also quite heavy actually don't know if you'll be able to guess. I think there's only one thing which is as flat as this. Dust bag. And then inside is a slightly squished, actually. I do feel like they could have put it in a slightly bigger box, but it is a, another Neverfull. I got this one in the Damier Abin with the pink lining again. And I'm sure everyone's thinking, do you really need another Neverfull? And I probably don't, but I love my nail falls a lot and I knew I was probably going to get this one day and I figured the way luxury houses are going with their price increases, I might as well get it now versus later because it's only going to increase in price, I think. So I decided to go for it, especially considering how much I love my other ones. They really are my most used bags, I think. 
So I decided to finally pull the trigger and I could not be happier. I've never owned anything in the Damier bean before, but I've heard very good things in that it's very hard wearing, more so than the other ones with obviously the Vachetta. So hopefully I will love this just as much. I have heard that the straps aren't perhaps quite as comfortable, so I will see. Um, they don't seem too bad to me, but hopefully they will get comfier with time. And they do just have the beautiful pink lining and then the little pouch as well. So very exciting probably didn't need another tote bag but as I said I wanted to get it before any more price increases and I just cannot get enough of this style of bag I absolutely love it I find them so functional just so good for daily use so very very excited to complete my collection of nerve folds now so that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions down below but I will include links and sizing and other information in the description section if you have any video requests based on anything here today then let me know as well so if you want to see reviews or first impressions or ways to wear or anything like that let me know if you enjoyed the video please to give it a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next one bye guys